back to the R100 community everybody thanks for tuning in for our second video uh, today we're going to be having a look at the fuel tank now if you tuned in to the first video uh, which is uh, you can still watch it's below this one uh, you will know that the bike's been sat outside in the garden for nine years um, one of the things that always gets attacked on most bikes that sit around like that is the fuel tank so it's sat with some fuel in it um, amongst other things God only knows what um, and we've got some corrosion inside now I'm not going to try and video the corrosion inside it's nearly impossible uh, you can see a little bit uh, around the filler net hole there um, I'll attach a video uh, a picture in a minute sorry and you'll be able to see what it's like inside So this is the third attempt at washing the tank out with some diesel. Um, so what I do is I put some, some drain the tank out, put some diesel in, and I put some bicycle chains inside the tank and I give it a good swill around. Now this is the third attempt and still what's happening is someone's used a poor quality um, tank sealing kit at some point um, and it's just disintegrated inside the tank uh, also what's not helping this situation uh, is inside the tank there is one of them lead replacement capsules I don't know if any of you remember these um, they used to cause me a world of pain um, inside older fuel tanks when I was a lot younger there's actually one inside here didn't think I'd ever see one again uh, I'm going to take it out, um, but I'm not going to take it out yet because it is actually intact inside the tank uh, and it's a great form of um, just an agitator inside the tank to help scrub some of this rubbish off that's inside because these lead replacement capsules are held inside a metal gauze bag which will act like sandpaper when we start moving it around. So what we're going to do now to try and get rid of it, well... Um, I'm going to put the chains back in for a starters and I've got uh, 10 litres, two gallons of vinegar here. So I've never tried this approach before. I've used a couple of the um, different kits that clean the tank out and never with great success on other bikes. So I've, I've done a bit of reading, done a bit of research. So we're going to try this vinegar approach and leave it soaking for a few days. So... I'm going to go ahead with that now and I'll come back to you with some results. Okay everyone, so as you would have just seen, um, just used the funnel, poured the uh, 10 litres of vinegar into the tank. Before I'd done that, I just fitted some old fuel taps that I've got uh, and switched them to the off position uh, just to blank the holes off. Um, I've popped the fuel cap back on for a minute, giving it a good swill around. Um, got the chains in there, that lead capsules in there. So um, let's see what it does uh, over the next week, I suppose. I think I'm going to leave it for a week. Um, I might pour it out and rinse it out uh, and then put it back in. I, I don't know yet. I haven't made my mind up. Let's see how things go. I've had a quick look already and even after one um, sort of little swill around and um, bounce around there's already a lot of uh, sediment and a lot of the junk floating to the top which is a good sign um, when it's all done I'm going to use one of these this is a, a tape ox kit uh, so it's a tank sealer kit uh, two part uh, so it's a two pack tank sealer kit um, they're not very expensive at all uh, used them before uh, on my Ducati with great success so uh, I think uh, when we're happy that the tank's clean enough, we'll pop one of them in. Um, so I should probably add at this point, I have actually had the bike running with this um, tank, but um, the bike's only got a side stand, so it sits over to the left-hand side. Um, the left-hand carb, I just kept picking up a bit of this old tank sealer kit inside the carb, just kept sitting under the needle, uh, and the float bowl would leak a little bit, so... Uh, it needs sorting out. You can't you 
can't be riding around with a leaky carburetor. So I'll keep you updated over the next few day guys, few days, and um, let's see what happens. Cheers guys, stay safe. Hi everybody. Um, the vinegar's been sitting in the tank now for about 25 hours. Um, I popped out here sporadically, just shook the tank about, um, kept having a little peek inside. Um, have a look at the picture now and see just what a difference that 25 hours has made. It started to do its work already. Um, so what have I done on it this afternoon? Well, I drained the tank, drained the vinegar out uh, into clean containers and tried to sort of put it through a, a sieve um, or an, and a strainer just to try and catch some of the stuff because I'm going to reuse the vinegar, put it back into the tank in a minute. So I drained the vinegar out, took the old fuel taps out the bottom, um, took the uh, lead pellets out, took the chains out and cleaned them off, cleaned all the dirt off of them. Uh, and then I put my pressure washer, took the tank round into the garden, put my pressure washer into the tank and just gave the tank a good pressure wash out, move as much as the crud as I can, um, filled it with some boiling water and just moved it around and just loads more of this old um, tank sealant kit that's disintegrated in there was coming out. Uh, so tons of stuff have come out, starting to see good bare metal again. Uh, important note here, when you put water in it after you've treated it with vinegar, you need to dry the tank out and get some vinegar back in it if that's the next process uh, a bit sharpish uh, within minutes the tank will be rusting again so um what i did jet washed it out good swill around um, put the chain back in put the lead pellets in that little gauze bag back in because uh, that works like sandpaper in there like we said yesterday and put the vinegar back in again topped it up uh, right back up to the top and give it a good swill around and uh, we'll do the same again um, do the same again tomorrow until we're happy that we've got uh, all of this uh, junk out hi everybody uh, we're on day four of cleaning out the tank uh, with vinegar so um, you see previously we uh, drained the vinegar Jet wash the tank out on day two. Uh, I've left it alone since then, apart from shaking it about and moving it into different positions to let the vinegar get everywhere. Um, I've actually topped the vinegar up as well, so it's absolutely full to the brim. Um, I'm going to attach a picture now that you can see, uh, and you can see that uh, it's really working well, it's really doing its job. Um, we've done the same today. I've drained the tank out into a couple of buckets, drained the vinegar out, uh, put my jet wash in, jet washed it for a good 10 minutes. Um, and before I jet washed it, uh, I had the vinegar ready to go back in. I've also made a little bit of a sieve up for my funnel. Uh, so it lays in the bottom of my funnel so we don't put any of the, uh, any of the old rubbish that we're getting out. We don't put any of that back in. Um, I'll try and show you the uh, the crud that's inside the, the bucket at the moment. In the meantime, just doing a couple of jobs on my NC30 that you can see there. Uh, poor old girl always just sits at the back of the garage doing nothing. Uh, okay, cheers guys. Um, I'll see you uh, on day seven on Wednesday. Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, day seven of cleaning the tank out uh, with vinegar. So this is going to be the final day, so the final process. Um, so what are we going to do today? Well, the first thing that we're going to do is run the tank out into my garden, where I already have the hose pipe set up, um, and I'm just going to leave the hose pipe running through the fuel tank and that just clears out any crud in the last little bits of crud that's stuck in the bottom. Um, I'll try and get a picture of them uh, flowing out the fuel tap ports at the bottom if I can. Um, when we are back in the garage, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I use my heat gun and just dry the tank out 
completely. Um, and I also need to neutralize the acid that's in the tank now. I do this by using just normal bicarbonate soda. Uh, you can pick this up any supermarket anywhere. Um, it's not expensive. Um, so just gonna put probably half of this in uh, and some water and just make a bit of a mix in there and just throw it around the tank and that will neutralize the acid and just um, stopping it from corroding the tank from the inside out in the future. Um, once we've done that, uh, we've got our tape ox kit, which we spoke about before. Um, now I haven't mixed it yet, but I have got all the lids off ready. Um, so just while the tank is drying out and bits and bobs like that, I'll just get the mix completely uh, ready to go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, I'll attach some uh, pictures along the way. Cheers guys. So we then went and added the tape ox kit to the tank. It's a little bit of an unfortunate picture, I know. Um, however, it came out really, really well. You have to let the tape ox kit dry um, before you add any fuel to the fuel tank. It's still like it now. I've been using the bike it's absolutely fine. The fuel tank is saved. The calves have been completely rebuilt, as you'll see in a previous video, as well as all the fuel lines obviously being replaced as well. So we also went ahead and added this nice fuel cap, finished the tank off nicely. And we also replaced the fuel taps with two brand new fuel taps. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of that, but I'm sure there'll be a picture of that in another video. Don't like to go for the original fuel caps. They can be quite troublesome. They're all old. They're all a bit rusty. They're all a bit seized up. They often get stuck in the locked position as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope it's been of some use to you. Please hit subscribe. Please hit like. Please comment below if you want to. Um, I'll pop some links down below the tape ox kit and where I got the, the vinegar from and stuff like that. And thank you for bearing with us while we learn how to edit videos and shoot videos on YouTube.